Welcome to this video. Today I will briefly be going over how to check what hardware is inside your Windows computer. And there are a few different ways of doing this. And so the first way is if you come down here and click on the Windows button in the bottom left corner and just type in Control Panel. And go ahead and just open up the Control Panel there and look for where it says System and Security or it may just say System. Uh, but go ahead and click on that option. And then again, just look for where it says system. And from here, it's going to list a bunch of different information about your computer. First, it will tell you what version of Windows you are running. And then down here underneath system, it will tell us which processor or CPU is inside the computer. It will tell us how much RAM is inside the computer, as well as we can see that it is a 64-bit operating system. And so this is just a quick, easy way to see what hardware is inside your machine. Now, if you're on Windows 10, another way that you can do this is if you come down to the menu and again, just type in settings and go ahead and open up the settings option. And from there, just select the system option. And then if you go down the left hand column, just look for where it says about and go ahead and click on that. And then after you click on about, if you scroll down just a little ways, it's going to give you the same information as was found in the control panel gives us the processor, the installed RAM, also lets us know it's a 64-bit operating system, and it tells us what edition we are running down here below. Now another way that you can do this is use a program called CPU-Z, and I will put a link down below in the notes as to where you can download this program, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. And this is just going to give us more detailed information about the system that we are using. Once it is open, you'll get a window such as this. You can see there's a bunch of different tabs here at the top. Currently I have the CPU tab selected or processor tab. And it lets us know uh, which processor or CPU is currently inside the computer. And it gives us a lot more information here. We can see, for example, that there are four cores, four threads on this particular CPU. We could also, if we wanted to, we could check to see what uh, motherboard is in the computer. We can get additional information on the RAM or memory. We can see that it's DDR3, as well as how much and what speed. Uh, we could also check the graphics. So this program is really handy because it just gives you more information and more details about the hardware in your computer. The last thing is, if you would like to check to see if your computer has a solid state drive or just a regular hard drive, what you'll do is come down to the Windows button and in the menu just type in File Explorer and go ahead and just open it up and go ahead and click on this PC. Yours might say computer but look for this PC or computer and go ahead and click on it and then look for the C drive and just right click on it and go to Properties and then go to Tools and then optimize and you can see right here it will say whether or not you have a solid state drive or a hard drive this one does have a solid state drive if it's a hard drive it will just say hard drive there instead of solid state drive so that was just a quick easy tutorial on how to check what hardware is inside your computer if you have any questions or comments please put them down below and i will respond as quickly as possible as always thank you very much for watching this video